Hey you, welcome back. I am Nat from Nat's Numbers, also known as the Numerology Chick over on Instagram. This is the next video in our series on the dark side or shadow side of the numbers. And this week we're going to be diving into the number three. If you have a three life path, a three expression number, a three hearts desire, a three personality, listen in. This is your video. We are going to be going over the top three shadow aspects that could show up in your everyday life if you have this number in your core numerology chart or your spiritual DNA. I'm also going to share with you what to do if you notice some of these things emerging. I'm going to share with you the top remedies that I've witnessed actually work in my private practice for people that have that three in their chart. So if you are enjoying these Friday morning uploads and you really like this work and you want more, it helps so much when you share the love. Thank you to all of you who have already subscribed. Thank you to those of you who take the time out to comment and like and hit that notification bell. I appreciate you so much. So really quick, let's define what I mean when I say the shadow or the dark side of the numbers. So numbers aren't just quantities. Numbers are symbols that are pointing to fundamental instincts in the universe. So every single number has a job that it's here to do. Okay, every single number has a result that it's trying to produce. And so my definition of the shadow is very elegant. It's basically where we are not engaging in producing the result that that number wants to produce. Maybe we're actually misfiring. Maybe we are, are trying to produce that result in an ineffective way. So you could think of it as having a magic wand, <laughs> but you don't know how to use it yet. So the three is a number in the universe that wants to produce the result of creativity, of creating something. And as such, to generate joy, imaginative awe and wonder and playfulness in this incredible physical reality. The way that the three produces that result, that result emerges via self-expression. So if you have a three in your chart, you will be hardwired to express yourself. You will have this powerful instinct to speak up, to shine bright, and to share that generous, joyful beauty that's inside of you out into the world. But here's the problem. When you have this bright light of joy, some people might not vibe with that. Some people might be threatened by it. Some people might want to squash your self-expression so they can have dibs on the spotlight or on the podium, so to speak, right? So what happens is threes will oftentimes, to survive early on, will stuff down their self-expression. And when they do, they dip into the shadow aspects that I'm about to share. And by the way, these are usually in order. So one of the first things that you might see, one of the early warning signs that you're dipping into the shadow is becoming a mute or becoming voiceless. Yeah. So you might start to don the persona of being shy, of allowing others to speak for you, of assuming that others are meant to shine, others are meant to be on stage, others are meant to be witnessed, seen, and heard, and not you. This doesn't work. The reason why this is a shadow aspect is because it doesn't actually produce the result of creativity because you cannot create if you don't express yourself. Okay, so if you are a mute long enough, if you are voiceless long enough, or assume that your voice doesn't matter, you will then dip into the second shadow aspect of the number three, self-inflicted negativity. If you can't express your joy, you lose your joy. If you can't share your joy, you lose your joy. And what happens is that you end up becoming self-deprecating. You become critical of yourself. You develop an internal dialogue of self-criticism and self-doubt that prevents you from expressing anything that matters to you. Another way that this might show up, this self-inflicted negativity, is a neurotic modesty where you, you talk yourself down or you actually 
just like meld into the wall. You know, you don't even see how special and beautiful you are. And you're not willing to see your incredible value or greatness. You diminish your very presence. Okay, so why does this self-inflicted negativity not produce the result of creativity? If you're constantly making yourself wrong for who you are, for what you want, for what's on your heart to say or speak or create or write or sing, you will never reveal your incredible gifts. You will never reveal the words that are on your tongue. And you will repress the luminosity of who you are and how you were designed by your creator. So then the deepest and darkest aspect of the three that can show up is, is this. If you are voiceless long enough, joyless long enough, self-deprecating long enough, you dip into what I call toxigenesis. And this is where you spew negativity on to others. This is really important to understand. If you have a person that you love in your life that has a three in your chart, and you are watching them be very toxic in their expression, I want you to come back to this video and remember that that's not where it starts. It's usually that first stage. They become voiceless. They're not speaking up. They're not shining. They're not being their joyful selves. And then they come into self-deprecation. And then the last phase is this. This is where a person uses their self-expression to diminish other people. This could look like gossip. This could look like actively operating in and coming from jealousy and envy. Um, this is where somebody might see joy, see somebody else shining, see someone else on stage and attack it, okay? Instead of being the one in the game, being the one on the sidelines, criticizing those that are in the game. The reason why this doesn't work and doesn't produce the result of creativity is if you're focused on being critical of others, gossiping about others, etc., you're not busy engaging in your own incredible creative work. You're not busy expressing the joyful beauty of who you are. So what happens when you notice any or all of these shadow aspects coming up? There's two primary remedies that I've seen that really work in my private practice. One is just practicing speaking up. There's a lot of threes, a majority of threes that I've worked with, who in their day-to-day -day life, they don't speak up for even the smallest of things, right? So you have to speak up in the early stages. You have to speak up when there's that feeling on your heart that you've gone off track that you are working against your joy, you're working against what brings you that feeling of happiness. You need to practice communicating to yourself, your creator, and to the people, the humans in your life, what you want, what you desire, and what you need. The second layer that's incredibly important, equally as important, is finding an outlet for your self-expression. Finding an outlet for your self-expression that brings you joy. And for threes, this usually means a hobby of some kind because it's not necessarily at first directly related to like income necessarily. It's usually like something that brings them that sense that they're a child again. Singing, dancing, writing, painting, um, dirt biking, uh, rock climbing. It's playful. It's like they're a kid again. If you do these two things, whenever you're falling in to becoming voiceless or falling in to becoming self-deprecating or falling in to criticizing other people and spewing negativity, if you come back to say, what do I want? What do I need? What would bring me joy? I'm gonna communicate that to myself, to my creator and to my people and you come back to, I gotta invest in that joyful hobby. I gotta invest in that thing that makes me feel like a kid again. You do that, 
you neutralize that shadow very, very fast. So if you have a three in your chart, raise your hands, comment below, and let me know which one of these shadow aspects you've experienced. And I would love to hear from you guys because you are so creative. You are so imaginative. What are the things that have worked for you when you find yourself dipping into these shadow aspects? What works for you to come back to your center and to come back into alignment? I would love to brainstorm on that below. Thank you so much for being here. I cannot wait to share with you the next number next week, and I'll see you soon.